there guys, gals, non-binary pals, GM Potter here. Welcome to my channel where I review books and bookish things. If you like what you see, please consider subscribing. So today we have a book I mentioned in my last video that I got. Um, I promised I'd review it and I am here to deliver. And that is My Friend Dahmer by Durf Bacter. Um, this book, like I said before, chilling. So let's get into it. So this is a graphic novel. It's now a major motion picture um, starring one of the guys from the Disney Channel. Um, and it is so, so good. The movie is good. The book is better. Isn't that always the way? Um, the illustration style is just really good. Like, it gives you... it. It's very stylized, but at the same time, it feels gritty and it feels almost too real I, I i don't know i'm having a hard time describing how i feel about the illustration style but it almost reminds me of mad magazine like they're they're comic strip artists but also like it, it's got this like there's so much going on and the faces are so expressive even though they're cartoons that is like, like, like you can just kind of feel it. It's just, ooh. so this book came out in 2012 in the form that it is now. It was published originally as a 25 page um, short graphic novel, more of a comic book. Um, and then he expanded it. Um, the author actually did go to school with Jeffrey Dahmer back in the 70s like they went to middle school and high school together he was briefly at least friends with him and he went back and he interviewed classmates and teachers and like poured over interviews and things and it's just ugh. it's told through a sympathetic lens towards Dahmer as a child before he commits his first murder he's very 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 specific about that that he doesn't want that once he hurts somebody there is no more sympathy there is no more empathy there is no more anything because that is not okay and i feel like that's a very hard line to draw but it's a very correct line to draw in this and it's it goes over it makes you feel for him in such a way and it's like he, comp he compare and comp contrasts his adolescence to Jeffrey Dahmer's adolescence and like they could have had the same like if Dahmer's parents hadn't been so self-absorbed maybe it could have ended some suffering if his teachers had stepped in while he had problems with alcoholism in school if the the homosexual community wasn't derided at the time maybe may, there's so many what ifs and it's it's part it's it's almost a memoir for another person and it's it's so good it's oh it's so good and it details all of that and then the very end of the book is 13 years later July 23rd 1991 Cleveland Ohio he gets a call from his wife who works in a newsroom that a kid he went to high school with um, has a whole bunch of dead bodies that he had sex with and ate and um, all that and he's she's like guess who it is and he guesses wrong the first time but his second guess is Dahmer and it's like yeah yeah that's that's who it was and I read this book in in one sitting. It's for a graphic novel. It's fairly long, but it's also a graphic novel. It reads very quickly. It's very fast paced. It's very, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. It's very frenetic feeling. And it's, oof, just, it gives, it gives you the ick 
in the best possible way. Like, it's kind of like, it's kind of like a train wreck. You can't look away. It's horrible and it's awful and you're powerless to do anything about it and you just can't stop watching. And Dahmer was caught in 1991. I was born in 88. So, and my parents were the sort of, are, are the sort of people who have the news on all the time. And so, I, I remember actually when he was killed in prison, when Dahmer was killed in prison, because that made the news. And I was, I think, in third grade? I think I was in third grade, second or third grade, when he was killed in prison. And they started talking about who Dahmer was on the news. And, like, it... I don't want to say... How do I put this? Dahmer has always been fascinating to me because of the fact that he was a serial killer when I was a kid. Like, he was, he's, he graduated in the class of 78, I think, 77 or 78. Um, but they caught him when I was a little kid. To my mom, Ed Gein is the boogeyman. To me, it's Jeffrey Dahmer. Because when I was a little kid, I heard like he had already been caught but I heard all of these horrible things that he had done and the the scary thing about Dahmer isn't so much what Dahmer did but the ineptitude of everybody else around him that one of his victims actually escaped and found a cop and Dahmer was able to sweet talk the cop into giving the victim back to him at like two o'clock in the morning and like that's the scary thing about Dahmer it's not so much that he was an unhinged maniac, that he killed people, that he cannibalized people, that he was a necrophiliac. It's, it's a somnophiliac, necrophiliac, both. Um, it's not so much that. It's The scary thing about Dahmer is that, and this book kind of solidifies my fears of Dahmer, is that if anybody had been paying attention and had stepped in with a critical eye and been like, wait a minute. You are blind stinking, falling down drunk at nine o'clock in the morning at school. Let's get you some help. If anybody had stepped in, it's, I know it's easy to play Monday morning quarterback, Monday morning football coach and be like, well, we could have fixed this. We could have stopped this. But it begs the question, could we have, if we had just approached this, obviously troubled child with a little bit of empathy and understanding and and like the author for me that empathy and that understanding ends the first time he hurts somebody I am under no no illusions that he was a good person I'm just wishing that someone somewhere could have stepped in and stopped it Someone could have put an end to it that maybe therapy, maybe something, and it's just, it just, in this book, the fact that he knew him and that he was friends with him and this stomach turning vile monster boogeyman in the dark was a real person is just chilling. Dahmer has been described the most depraved serial killer since Jack the Ripper and yeah kind of like it's an amazing book it's a very important book it's one that I may read again I'm definitely adding it to my comic collection but I don't know the story is just like I said chilling is the best word I can come up with for it um have you read my friend Dahmer did you see the movie what did you think let me know in the comments down below and I'll see you in the next one bye mm -hmm.